Three rings for the elven kings under the sky, seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die. If you are ready everyone, let's take a closer look at a minimal investment for this guy right here. So as you can see everyone, I have got a recording. Now I did some testing uh, down the line. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and let me show you how he is actually geared. Um, I did some minor testing here and there. Um, I ended up making him level 25. I've heard some that you can't do it at level 20, but for me that required an extreme amount of RNG and I've I was getting tired after 30, 50 attempts. Uh, I made his abilities level two. I've heard you can get away with it at level one, though that is gonna take a substantial amount of attempts. Also, one thing I spotted when I was doing it, I don't know what was going on. Maybe there's a bug with him, I don't know. And then I'm doing gear level four. So um, it went okay, honestly. And I'm gonna show you here. Let's jump into it. I believe it's this one. So, um, actually, let's jump just a little bit back. So here we go, the actual attempt. So for some reason, when he was level 20, I would go before Neremiri uh, with my Grim Lords. Uh, after that, it was basically always Neremiri that went first, and you want her to stealth. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the turn order is you go for the Woodland Longshot first. Um, this is kind of like what you go with. Don't use um, Earth's Hand Special 1. Here you gotta hope for a good burn. As you can see, I got free down. Halberat decides to go with this instead of a heal. That's pretty nice. You get a heal block and this is a 50% chance. So we got the 50%. Here we get some bleed down just for some damage and you can see heal block on both. Uh, all of this is just a little bit RNG who you get it on. Then you, of course, do the healing the minute you get it up, the special two. So here I was feeling... Okay. Uh, we get the heal, and then we get like this. And for some reason, he doesn't heal here. I don't know why he doesn't, but this was a big part I felt uh, for my victory. So, straight back over. Remember to swap, because now the taunt is gone. Get the damage. You want to hope for some crit here and there, and that all of this is being split. There we go, and this was very, very lucky. And here we go, and then we get some more weakened. Like, you have so many weakens, and that is really critical for you. There we go. Uh, stealth, that's fine. Uh, Rockma, you really want him to be alive and well, uh, so you get his weakened down. Get some bleed. Uh, so, some of the things that are really important for you is to get a good first uh, turn Rockma with Burn. You need an Aramiri to go with this, like she takes her fir fir turn first before Grimlords, and for some reason she didn't want to do that when he was level 20. There we go, we did get a heal here, that was kind of sad, um, have to go with this. This was a, uh, the big MVP, the fact that I get the Burn, and we get... Uh, heal block, amazing as well. I'm gonna go ahead and say this was some RNG luck, but it was okay. Um, and this is where I'm feeling, okay, I can do this. I almost messed it up, I think. Um, and the reason for that is I'm actually swapping to Nera Miri here because I'm thinking I can get her killed. Uh, had that been a crit, maybe. And then she still, and I was like, oh fuck. Then we do this. She does uh, that there. And then we get a bomb and it crits. Really important. Otherwise, I needed a. Uh, and then we do this. And this is where I felt when I threw this bomb and he did this, I was like, I'm gonna lose this. But then with Weaken, as you can see, just keep hitting Weaken. And here he has Deadly. So here I decided to say, nope, we're going to put a weaken on him to l lower his damage. Because even if he crits, then he might actually um, be able to not kill me. Be unable to kill me. Wow, words are hard tonight. Been a long day at work. And then 
boom, there we go, and he dies to the burn tick. So, there we go. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I will build up my uh, Black Beast further beyond this. I will probably push him to a 5-star, but this quick and dirty... Um, I feel this is okay minimum investment level 25, you don't waste that much XP, you only use blue materials, and you only invest green stuff into him. Overall, pretty nice, and yeah, it was a fun matchup, and you gotta hope for a good Rockma first bomb, uh, with inflicting some burn, and you have a little bit RNG on your side with the heal block and everything. So, turn order is first the wooden long shot, then the other character, um, the one with the spear. On the left side, let's actually go ahead and see what was it called. Woodland Keeper. So long shot first, then Woodland Keeper, then ideally Halberad, depending on the RNG. Maybe go Neramiri, and then um, yeah, Neramiri at the end. So, but per people I've heard do this is they take Halberad second last. For me, it was just the fact that Neramiri was so low, and then she died to a bomb. So. A little bit lucky, but we uh, will take it, and best of luck everyone out there with your minimal investment attempts for the Black Beast, and I'll see you all in the next video.